this will be the breakdown of how you can use points to not only buy trips, not only buy groceries, food, Macy's, Saks Fifth. Actually, I'm about to buy me a belt right now. So let's get started. <laughs> So this is what we're going to do. Credit Karma is a good place to give you recommendations. I know a lot of people don't really mess with Credit Karma, but Credit Karma is it's free. You don't have to pay for it. And it's pretty good with giving you recommendations because they show you if something is, uh, is if it's fair approval odds or if it's excellent approval odds. So here, you can kind of gauge the likelihood of you getting the card that you want. Like if I was to get the American Express Gold card, very good approval odds, nine times out of 10, because I got two other, two or three other uh, American Express cards anyway. Same thing with the Blue Cash Preferred, that's good. I have a Discover It card, so that's good approval odds. Uh, American Express, good approval odds, good approval odds. And what you can do is you really want to find a card that gives you a lot of points. Now, the Chase Sapphire Preferred, don't get it confused with the Reserve. This is the Preferred. The Reserve has a lot more benefits than the Preferred, but the Reserve comes with a lot more perks than the Preferred. So let's, let's like, you know, try to get a breakdown of things. So you earn 80,000 bonus points after you spend $4,000 on purchases within the first three months from opening up your account. Now, a lot of people may look at this like, I don't want to just spend random money, but you don't spend random money. What you do is you pay your car payment, pay your car insurance, you pay your rent, you pay your light bill, your gas bill, you go out to eat with it, you get gas with it, you take care of the kids with it, you pay for their schooling, their daycare, their food, their clothes. It's not hard to run up $4,000 in three months. I mean, you know, it can be done for sure. So what you wanna do is if you was to get this card, you wanna make this your focus for those next three months. For those next three months, you don't wanna use anything but this Chase Sapphire Preferred because we need to get those 80,000 points. Now, it says earn up to $50 in statement credits towards grocery purchases made in your first year of opening the account. That's probably like another perk that they're giving right now. It's probably some um, a coronavirus, you know, slash stimulus package slash giveaway that uh, you can get. $50 is $50. So that's a good thing. Then you earn two times the points. Own dining, including eligible delivery services, takeout dining and travel, plus 1% on everything else. Get 25% more value when you redeem for airfare, hotels, car rentals, and cruises through Chase Ultimate Rewards. For example, 80,000 points can be worth $1,000. So right here, they're telling you how to get the max benefit for what you're trying to do. They want you to spend it on travel. They want you to spend it on rental cars, hotels, cruises, whatever the case may be. That's really what they want you to spend it on. So once you meet the minimum requirement, you spend that $4,000 in the first three months, then you get the points and here's how you use the points. Now, for this example, we're gonna be using my Platinum American Express. As you can see, I got 100 and 38,000 points. And when you go to rewards, it says how you can use your points right here. You can cover your car charges. They have a system where you can just click on what you wanna pay and you don't even have to use your money. You can just use points that you accumulated. So that's kind of like a way that you can get it redeemed for cash. But I really don't like this. In order to spend $20, I, it's going to cost me 3,300 points. I don't think that that's a good deal nor a good use of my points. So today we're going to be redeeming for gift cards. 
Now, as you can see, they got a lot of gift cards. They got a lot. We're going to click on view all gift cards. So basically, this brings up all the gift cards you can redeem your points for. So we got 1-800-Flowers, Walmart, Panera Bread, American Express Blue. So you can actually get American Express gift cards if you want to. You can use them as gifts or use them for yourself. Apple, I know that new iPhone is dropping soon. I will definitely have that. Bahama Breeze, Banana Republic, Barnes & Noble, Bath & Body Works, Bed Bath & Beyond, Benny Hanna's, uh, Bird Off Goodman, Best Buy, Best Western, Blooming Brands, Multi Brand, as Outback, Carabas, Flemings, and Bonefish Grill. I love Bonefish Grill. Bye Bye Baby, California Pizza Kitchen, Calm, that's the app, the Capitol Grill, Carabas, Cheesecake Factory, Chili's, Creighton Barrel, Creighton Kids, Olive Garden, Lone Corn, Cheddar's, Yard House, Bahama Breeze, Seasons 52, Delta Airlines, Eddie V's, Hotels, Flemings, Four Seasons Hotels, The Gap, Banana Republic, Hard Rock Cafe, Redeeming for Hilton gift cards, all of my people out there that's working on real estate, so you may want to redo your bathroom, you may want to redo your kitchen, you can redeem it for a Home Depot gift card, Hotels.com, the list goes on and on, Macy's, Maggiano's, which is one of my favorite places, Marriott, Neiman Marcus, which is another one of my favorite places, Olive Garden, Outback Steakhouse, Panera Bread, which is another one of my favorite places, the Ritz-Carlton, in case you want to live it up. Of course, Ruth Chris. I have a lot of business meetings up there. Sex Fifth, Sex Off Fifth, Sam's Club, uh, Sephora, Staples, Starbucks, Target, Subway, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Uber, Victoria's Secret, Walmart, West M, Yard House, Zappo, the list goes on and on. So what we're going to do is we're going to be redeeming it for Saks Fifth because I want this new belt. And I'm gonna do the digital gift card because the physical gift card, I don't wanna wait for it to come in the mail and it be delayed mailing. If I do digital, they're gonna send it right to your email. So let's do digital. So for what I want, I want a new, I want an MCM belt. So it's gonna cost me about 350. So I'm gonna get one for $250. Okay, and then we need another one for $100, bam. Add to the card. As y'all can see, the $100 gift card cost me 10,000 points. The $250 gift card cost me 25,000 points. And I still have a remaining balance of 103,000. We're gonna review. And we're going to check that bad boy out. Proceed to checkout. And we're going to just confirm it. Thank you for your order. Here we go. And I just got my points. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to print it off. And I'm going to go to Saks and I'm going to get my belt. So that's how you redeem your credit card rewards points for all types of things. Sacks, you can shop at Macy's, you can eat at Bonefish Grill, you can eat at Carabas, you can stay at the Ritz Carlton. It's so many things. You can shop at Walmart, shop at Target, get things for the kids. There's so many things that can be done. And keep in mind, these points was free. I didn't pay for them. I used the minimum balance that they wanted me to use for the car. I paid it all back before the interest hit me. And they just said, hey, Willie, here goes a lot of free money. Use it how you want to.